This will be the tutorial for third grade course D lesson six, part two. We've already completed puzzles one through four. Again, this is part two. It will cover puzzles five, six, seven, and eight. Let's go ahead and click on number five. And the uh, uh, thing you should remember about this unit is that everything that you that you did for one puzzle gets carried over to the next one. So this is the program that was written for puzzle number one where if you click on the left arrow, the hand will move to the left. That's this block right here. This is the program that you wrote for puzzle number two, where when you hit the right arrow, the hand will move to the right. That's this block. This is the program that you wrote for puzzle number three. When the ball hits the hand, it will bounce. And for puzzle number four, you created this program that says when the ball hits the wall, it should also bounce. So for puzzle number five, you do still have two more event blocks let's see which one they want addressed right now the directions say attach sound blocks to make the net swish when you hit the basket and and that we're going to go ahead and focus on that for just a moment let's do this part first let's make a net swish sound when you hit the basket so which of these two green blocks has to do with hitting the basket because i don't see the word basket anywhere well, this one says one ball in goal. This one says one ball misses hand. Which of these two has to do with hitting the basket? It is this one. And what they wanted us to do is they wanted us to add the sound of a net swish when the ball is in the goal. Which of these blue blocks has to do with a sound? Well, it's this one. This has the word sound in it. So grab that and connect it on here. But right now it says play bounce sound. Well, what they wanted was a net swish, which is right here. So make sure that you do that. So now if the ball goes into the basket, you should hear a swish. Let's replay this. A moment ago, I did say that we were gonna focus on the word and because we have just completed the first part of the uh, uh, puzzle. Now we will work on the second half, which is have the whistle blow when the ball misses your hand. And that's this block. It says when the ball misses the hand. So we're going to add a sound again, but they didn't want a bounce sound. They wanted a whistle blow. So change it so it says whistle right there. So now if we play the game and the ball goes into the basket, you would hear a net swish. However, if the ball misses the hand, for example, if I move this over here and the ball goes past you, then you would hear uh, a whistle sound. So I just made a basket. Okay, go ahead and click continue. You may have to play that um, that particular round one or two or maybe three times before you can uh, get the green bubble. So again, here's puzzle number one, the solution. Here's puzzle two, the solution. Here's puzzle three, the solution. Here's puzzle four, the solution. And we added sounds for puzzle number five. So let's put that there and there. Let's see what they ask us to do this time. It says, there is now a hoop at the top, right there at the very top of the screen. Attach the score point block. And that's this one right here. It says score point to the when ball in goal. Where's the when ball in goal, when ball in goal? That's right here. So they want us to add a score point right there. Let's see what else that says. Event and, there's that funny word again, and the score opponent point, which is right here score opponent point, block to the when ball misses hand event. So grab that and put it over here when it says the when the ball misses the hand. So if we make a basket, we will score a point. But if the, goal, if the ball gets past the hand, then the opponent will score a point. Run the game. You'll notice that the ball got past the hand, so the opponent won a point. Let's continue playing. This game will continue until your computer opponent scores two points. Okay, nobody scored there. Okay, we scored a point, so we got one, so it's one to one. And again, the game will continue until the computer scores two, which is why it ended right there. Go ahead and click continue. That was puzzle number six. Here is number seven. 
Here's the solution to puzzle number one, solution to puzzle number two, solution to puzzle number three, solution to puzzle number four, and four and, I'm sorry, solution five and six are right here, and also here. Let's see what they're asking now. It says, now you are in control of the ball. Attach the throw new ball, which is right here at the very top, throw new ball uh, in all of the places where the game needs a new ball. So if you were playing a video game, if this was a video game that you wanted a, a sibling or a friend to play, then there are three different locations where a new ball should show up. Number one is here, right at the very beginning. In fact, if we don't add this, let me, let me remove it for just a moment. If we don't add this and just click run, nothing happens. No, no ball shows up. But if we add it, as soon as we click run, a basketball shows up. Okay, so that's one place. Another place a new ball should show up is if we score a point, which is right here when ball and goal. So add a new ball right there. Let me show you what it looks like without. So if I make, if I score a basket, hopefully I got it right there. There, I just made a point, but nothing else happens. So if I add this, throw a new ball, and then try to score a point again, this may take a moment, be patient. There we go. As soon as I score a basket, a new basket, basketball should show up, and it did. Okay, now, the last place, There's a, remember I said there were three different places. The last time that a new ball should show up is when the opponent scores something when the ball goes past the hand. So let's go ahead and throw a new ball, go ahead and play it. But this time I'm going to allow the ball to get past me. And a new ball should show up at that point. There it is. Okay. Now that we've done that, it's we're gonna, I'm going to go ahead and play the game. And please remember, like last time, the game will continue until the opponent scores twice. You know what? Let the computer score one. A new ball will show up in just a moment. I'm just going to end it right now. If I let the let the the uh, ball get past me, the computer will have scored twice, and then the game is over. Let's go ahead and click continue. And here is puzzle number eight: the end of the unit. And we're going to have a little bit of fun here. We have everything that we have written so far is right here. But number puzzle number eight will be a open play, which means you get to do whatever you want. But like I said a moment ago, we're going to have a little bit of fun with this. Uh, I have done this unit enough times to know that this is something that's, that um, students really like to do. And that is to make... Oh, first and foremost, let me show you that you can actually change the logo behind the game. For example, there it is. You can see that the logo immediately shows up and almost as far as I know, almost every NBA team is available if you wanted to um, to change it like there's the Los Angeles Lakers. You can also change the skin tone of the hand. Um, let's see. But I think what most students like to do is this. How about at the very beginning of the game? We have multiple balls show up like this. Very interesting. And then some students will actually go so far as to add a new ball anytime anything is done. So notice that I'm adding one everywhere. And then this is what the game ends up looking like. And yes, this is an awful lot of fun. You can see that the, the processor in your computer is actually going to try to uh, try to do this and you can see the score trying to keep up with this if you do this uh, for long enough your your program will in fact likely crash so i'm going to go ahead and reset it right now and when it is your turn you are welcome to try to do something like this or change the game in any way that you see fit and when you when you're happy with your product and you don't want to do it anymore just click finish and you will be done you're welcome to close code